Bill Carr and Carr Athletic Associates uh, out of Florida for their professional help uh, in the search, leading us to this exciting moment. And I'm pleased to welcome Dr. Derek Gregg as Vice President and Director of Athletics. His official start date will be May 1, but I want to tell you he's already hard at work uh, laying the groundwork for his administration. He comes to us uh, from Eastern Michigan University where he served as athletics director for the last seven years. His cr uh, previous career appointments were at large universities, Arkansas, Michigan, and Missouri, and at a small private university, Vanderbilt, where he was also a student and student athlete. We're especially impressed by Derek's breadth and rigor uh, uh, in everything that he does. His formula not only includes competitive success, which he's had a lot, but also an explicit focus on academic achievement, gender equity, and professional ethics. He's known for this focus and he has been asked uh, in the profession to uh, prepare articles and editorials and he's given many, many presentations uh, on these uh, areas. We're pleased that in his role Derek will be a a key figure in advancing the critical thinking and open conversations that need to surround a responsible and truly successful athletic program. He's got a proven track record. If you've seen his bio, you know uh, what I'm talking about, not only in the core administrative functions uh, of hiring and fundraising and facilities development, but in the intangibles of providing uh, integrity uh, and uh, the, the uh, lead by example that we find so important. Under his leadership, uh, uh, his school amassed 22 Mid-America Conference Championships and importantly attained a student-athlete graduation rate that uh, significantly outpaced the school's overall rate. I won't belabor uh, his credentials further. You have uh, the detail. I do want to note that he earned his bachelor's degree at Vanderbilt where he played football, lettered as a wide receiver all four years. He completed his master's degree in sports administration at Wayne State and his doctorate in higher education at the University of Arkansas. In addition to Derek, we are absolutely thrilled to welcome Derek's family, his wife Sonia. Uh, their daughter Deshay could not be with us today. She's a college student and uh, was uh, otherwise occupied their sons Avery and Philip, and uh, I'm also extraordinarily pleased to welcome Glenda smith Gregg, the proud mother of our new athletic director. Glenda has joined us from Huntsville, Alabama. Um, so please join me in extending a very warm welcome to TU Vice President and Director of Athletics, Derek Gregg and his family. Thank you, and this is certainly a great day for my family and myself, and we certainly thank you for the warm welcome that you've given us so far. And so many people I need to thank, but again, and he introduced my family, uh, starting with my wife and my children and, and Daisha. She had better be in class like she told me that she was. <laughs> but I really thank them for allowing me to pull them out of schools, jobs, and their comfort zones over the years to chase my dreams. And I just cannot thank them enough uh, for allowing me to take on this opportunity. I also want to thank my mom. My mom has not missed any of the significant events in my life. And uh, this is the biggest one, and I knew that she would be here. And uh, my mom never wanted me to play football, but uh, she wanted me to get a great education. And my mom is someone who has three master's degrees herself and always pushed me academically. And so that's where that comes from. I also want to thank my father who unfortunately had to leave us a while ago. He was ill uh, most of his life, but he was the hardest working person that I knew. And, and Dad, I know you're not here, but, but I feel your presence. And he never missed one of my games as a dialysis patient for the last parts of his life, never missed one of my home games at Vanderbilt University, and would rearrange his whole life just to be there for us. So I appreciate him. And to President Upham, I know this is a great responsibility. A lot of times they say that presidents, when they hire athletic directors, it's the most important, some of the most important hires that they make. And I know that you've been in this community for a long time. 
done a lot of great things and helped build this university into what it is today. And you can trust that I will not let you down. I mean that. Thank you to the search committee members. And I'm not just saying this, but some of the finest people that I met. And I told my wife as soon as I got off out of the, uh, the interview room and got to the airport, I said, those were great people. They really were. And, and I'm looking forward to working with you. I want to mention some of my mentors in this business who have helped raise me. And the first being Coach Frank Burroughs over at University of Arkansas and allowing me to do the things that, that I did there that trained me for an opportunity like this. So I appreciate him. Joe Castiglione, who 18 years ago took a chance on a 25-year-old upstart kid and gave me a senior administrator position when he was one of the youngest athletic directors in the country. So I really appreciate him. Gene Smith at Ohio State who has been a great mentor of mine, my sounding board for years, and is truly one of my heroes. To Nolan Richardson, who has great history with this institution. And uh, you took a chance on him a long time ago. And some of the things that I learned from, from watching that man, who was one of the pioneers in this business, and the only regret I have is that I didn't get to work with him longer. So I appreciate Coach Richardson. To Tom Goss, who was my boss at the University of Michigan, and he told me back in 1999 that he expected me to be standing in front of a podium like this one day. And so here I am, Tom, and I, I hope you're watching it somewhere because I really appreciate you. And then also a big thank you to Dr. Percy Bates, University of Michigan, Dr. Bernard Franklin at the NCAA office, who are great mentors and pioneers in this business who I've tried to pattern myself off uh, of also. And to my Eastern Michigan University family and uh, Dr. John Fallon in particular, who hired me there in 2006 and gave me a chance to, to do the things that I really love to do. And I'd also like to mention the Regents Jim Stapleton, Roy Wilbanks, Floyd Clack, Mike Hawks, Fran Parker, and also President Susan Martin, who's the president today, who's really supported me during the past few years. And then lastly, certainly, but not least, I'd also like to thank God because uh, a kid from Alabama with a dream doesn't get to stand in front of such a, an esteemed group of people like this without God, and I really, really mean that. Now. Who am I and what do I stand for? And anyone who knows me, you know that I'm a former student athlete and I'm student athlete centered. And the student athletes here at TU perform so well academically and athletically. And we're gonna continue that. And we're gonna take care of the student athletes like we do now. But I always say this, in taking care of the student athletes, we expect them to do something and get, to give something back. We'll have high expectations from, for them and basically expectations, that's, that's demands. And so some of the demands are, first and foremost, require them to go to class, obtain knowledge, and earn a degree. That's first. Secondly, we'll require that they train to become a champion, and they've done that here. 49 championships over the past six or seven years, and I thought we were pretty good with 24 or 25. That's, that's outstanding work, and um, I really appreciate what they're doing and uh, we're gonna continue that. Also, we want the student athletes to integrate into mainstream society on campus and become a student. And as I always say, don't just be a jock. The relationships that you make on campus will help carry you through a lifetime, and we really want them to develop holistically. Fourth, we're gonna require that the student athletes focus on career development, because as we all know, and there are some former student athletes in the, in the room and, and great professional athlete, the ball goes flat for all of us at some point in life, and we just can't run and jump as high as we used to, and we have to learn how to do some other things. So we're going to focus on developing them where they can be successful after sports. We're also expecting our student athletes to engage in regular um, dialogue and interaction with our leadership on campus, and I know President and people over in your cabinet are really, really into that, and I appreciate that, and we're going to continue that. And then lastly, and probably most importantly, and I said this in the search committee meeting, and I said this this morning to the staff, uh, we're going to expect our student athletes and our coaches and everybody involved with our program to follow the rules. And that's pretty simple. And I'm a man of integrity. As a lot of you know, I have a compliance background, having worked at the University of Missouri, University of Arkansas, and University of Michigan, one of the few athletic directors in the country with that type of compliance background. And just uh, being involved in this business for the past 20 years and seeing what type of damage can be done to programs when you don't follow the rules. And so I said it, I'd rather lose than win a bunch of championships the wrong way. And so we're going to stand by that. We're going to continue to do the things that we do here, but we're going to do them the right way. And, and I'm 
and I really, really mean that. In closing, um, anyone who's heard me speak knows that I, I like great quotes. And um, I met an individual today who was good friends with John Wooden, who was uh, obviously, probably arguably the best college basketball coach in history. And he said, people usually know what they need to do to get what they want, what they want. They just won't do it. They won't pay the price. Again, people usually know what they need to do to get what they want. They just won't do it. They won't pay the price. Well, I appreciate the way that the student athletes and the coaches and the staff here have paid the price and will continue to pay the price. And I'm so looking forward to joining you. I can't wait to get down here. I'll be down here a couple of additional times besides starting on May 1st. And I, I just thank and appreciate everybody for coming today in particular.